Hi everyone, I'm Dave with Foamers.net and today we are going to be doing uh, part one of a two-part tutorial on widgets, WordPress widgets. And uh, the title of this tutorial is how to make a custom widget using uh, recycle code from your uh, existing theme, whatever theme that may be. So let's get started. Uh, in this uh, part one, I'm just going to show you um, what widgets are, kind of tell you a little bit about widgets and how they work and some of the uh, benefits of uh, using WordPress widgets. So as you can see, I'm using just the default theme that comes with um, WordPress, you know, right out of the right out of the box. Um, and uh, right right away here on the sidebar, you'd notice that there's a a uh, couple of things here. You have this little menu here, categories, featured one, featured two, and then you have this little calendar going on. Those are actually uh, widgets that have been dragged from the admin area and placed there on the sidebar. The default theme for WordPress actually lets uh, already comes with a few wid uh, widgets that you can uh, do this with, and it's already ready to go out of the box. So why don't we look inside the admin area here? Uh, just to show you what that is. So if you want to access your widgets from the admin area, you would first click on appearance here and then on uh, widgets. And that would bring you to this uh, menu here that we have this little uh, display here, this page. It says available widgets and here's all the default widgets that come with, um, with WordPress by default right out of the box. And uh, as you can see here, you have the calendar one and basically that was over here originally and it was empty and what I did was I just dragged it over just like that put it here and saved it and then if you go back to the home page and you just refresh that you'll have just a calendar there you see that and that's how easy it is uh, to to use widgets once they're uh, already been written and then in your they're already in your in your admin area and if you have a client um, you know they obviously love this because they don't have to uh, you know know any code or anything to actually use these uh, similarly you can add anything else we're going back here to the admin area again uh, let's add the um, the categories and put them up here and if you created categories uh, previously this would uh, display the categories in a, in a list format right on your sidebar so you have all this flexibility to do things on your sidebar here so we go back and just to see what that looks like now you have the categories again right here and not only can you do that you can actually uh, go back here to the admin area and move these uh, just move them from top to bottom there go back and you see how it rearranges this uh, everything with the calendar on top here so uh, really nice really nice feature of WordPress right, great right out of the box uh, the only thing now is if your client or yourself you want to add uh, you want to have something similar to this but you want to be able to drop something up here in the in the header so for this tutorial our, our purpose is to write a custom widget uh, using recycled code right from from uh, the theme uh, so it so it'll be even even easier for you, uh, and you can use you can do the same thing. Like I said, we're using the uh, the default theme, but you can do this with uh, your theme, any theme. This is just a basic e example. And what we want to do, uh, we want to have like a fictitious uh, client that wants to have an ad up here, like a Google ad, like those big banners that you see. Uh, maybe they want to. Um, generate some revenue for the website whatnot and we're gonna create a custom widget so that way they can be back here in the admin area and drag like a text widget and then put in and uh, paste just the uh, Google uh, code right into it and be able to display the, those ads there at random and not have to call you every time they want to add a new ad up there and make it real simple for the client uh, okay so that is it for this part of the tutorial uh, so um, check back the other uh, section of the tutorial part two will be in uh, maybe in a day or two and uh, you can look forward to that where we show you how to actually write one of these and implement it on your next project thank you